Hey guys, Ivan here with a second video for today. We got the Europa Pro, UK Pro, the pre judging of the show, and I found this uh, really awesome footage on the AJ Kell Roberts Instagram page. So we got some footage of the of the pre judging, and I wanted to start this video with the Patrick Tour video because basically he was. Uh, the guy that was talked about the most coming to this show, we wanted to see what he's gonna bring, and honestly, I like what I'm seeing. You know, he finally brought the conditioning since that 2019 Mr. Olympia. I haven't seen him in this kind of shape basically since then. And also, he looks like he improved a little bit. I mean, is he big enough? Are those legs up to par, like, especially compared to other bodybuilders? No, no, he looks more like a classy guy, really. But I do like the physique. I do like the shape. I like I like the conditioning. I like the way his his structure is and so on, but like open bodybuilding, this is not open bodybuilding. Maybe it was once a long time ago, but no longer. Today you got to be much bigger than this. Whether we like this or not, whether we agree with these criteria or not, this is the current state of bodybuilding and this is not gonna go well. Now, looking at Patrick right here, I would assume that he was gonna still crack the top three at least, even though he's smaller. He's not that small, like he's not really classic, right? He couldn't make the classic physique weight gap. I don't think so, maybe if he pushed down a little bit more, I'm not sure how far away he is from the classic physique weight gap, but after this show, he needs to seriously consider doing that, because even though he brought it, like he peaked well, he came in conditioned, maybe even improved a little bit, he's still gonna place not just out of top 3, but out of top 6 guys, you heard it right, he might place even 8, this is the second call out from 4th to 8th, and Patrick is all the way to the side, so he's definitely not 4th, 5th or 6th, he's either 7th or 8th, the way it looks right now. How? Why? Well, the only thing that I can say is because he's not big enough. And that's what we kind of all expected, like, is he gonna be bigger, is he gonna be improved, did he gain size in the offseason with Dom Cardone? Apparently he didn't. Now this is your top 3, with Andrea Presti in the middle, and most likely, I mean, I'm pretty sure, uh, winning this show, I, and that was also very much expected, especially after seeing what he brought to the Italy Pro stage, on the right there you have Luis Breed, I'm not a fan of his physique, not even one bit, and on the left you have uh, Bruno Santos, I like this guy, you saw him next to Hunter last week, and he actually looked very good next to Hunter, his condition needs to come up a little bit more, maybe maturity, but like he has a really good shape, a lot of size, really good structure, like really well-shaped muscle belly, so I like his physique, but I don't think he's doing this show, he needs to be a little bit uh, harder, drier, like I said, I think it's like a maturity thing, next year he's going to do much better, I'm sure, He he's probably gonna win a pro show this year, I don't see it happening, not here at least, Andrea Presti is winning UK. Now on AJ Keller Roberts' page, there is also this video, and he named it Top 2, but I don't think this is actually top two, I think the judges are trying to determine who's gonna be third, and I'm quite sure it's gonna be Bruno Santos, it's not gonna be Louis Breed, Louis Breed has a lot of muscle, but like very rugged physique, very ugly physique, no aesthetics, it's not like he has a huge waist or a bubble gut, it's not that, just the shape, the structure of his physique, you know, ugly, ugly, I'll just put it that way, I'll just be blunt. And uh, as far as Bruno, Bruno, I want to say Bruno Mars, as far as Bruno Santos, he looks great, I mean, he has a really good aesthetics, really good shape, good conditioning, decent, a lot of fullness, you know, from, from behind, his lower body, I don't like it too much, it kind of looks a little bit slim, but like from the front, from the side, he looks like a, like a big bodybuilder, like very full, very round, good, decent conditioning here, so I have him in second. It could go the other way, I mean, Louis Breed has a ton of muscle, like, he's definitely a monster, has a freak factor, but, like, the overall impression that I'm getting is that Andrea Presti is gonna win this. There was this uh, three-man call-out, and they put Andrea Presti in the middle, so based on the way the judges are moving these guys, it seems like it's gonna be Andrea Presti, and I, I see it that way for sure. Like, he's the most balanced, uh, you know, like, conditioning, size, aesthetics... He has the most complete package over here. Yeah, the legs are a little bit smaller, 
but it never stopped him before from qualifying for the Mr. Olympia three times so far, placing second at the previous show, beating these guys. So, yeah, I think he's going to win this. Um, he's shredded, he's peeled, his glutes are, like, super dry, like nobody else, really. I don't know if there's any bodybuilder today, especially who has super super dry glutes like uh, Andrea Presti. He, he's known for that. That's his trademark. I know a lot of you guys hate when I talk about glutes and how important glutes are, but there you go. He has that. And once again, Patrick Moore, I mean, I want to say failed to deliver because he delivered conditioning. But even working with Dom Cardone, who is actually a well-known coach, a good coach, even doing a full-blown off-season, a long off-season with him, did not help him put enough muscle on. So what is the plan for him? What's next? In my opinion, he should definitely consider doing classic. He has a pretty nice classic physique. I mean, do I see him cracking like the top six of the Mr. Olympian classic physique if he made a weight? No, not really. But if he's placing eight... At this level of a show, this is like one of the lowest level pro shows of the year, then no. Open division for Patrick Moore, it's just not in the books. It's not the future, it's not even the past, it's not the present most certainly. You guys give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content, for the results of this show and many other things, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.